Hello guys, welcome back to the Information Security Newspaper Channel. My name is Miguel Lopez. I hope you're doing really, really great, guys. So remember, we talk things related with hacking attacks, cybersecurity. So if you want to get more information, you can follow us on our social media networks. We are leaving the links down below. And guys, please, if you got any comments or suggestions, don't forget to write them down. So let's start. Okay guys, so now let's talk about Instagram. Well, they found some records with information from several Instagram users. Well, that was pretty sensitive information and I'll tell you what's going on. Well, some specialists reported an online database that contained a lot of information of celebrities and Instagram business accounts. Well, the information was hosted on Amazon and didn't have a password. So as you know, that's pretty dangerous because anyone could access that. Well, it seems the database had almost 50 million records, so it's a lot of information. Well, they had data such as photos, a account and followers info, uh, emails, and phone numbers. Uh, well, it seems that the owners of these databases uses this information to calculate the value of an account according to some parameters like followers, likes, interactions. That's a lot of information there. Well, the database has been removed and it's no longer in Amazon and well, the Instagram owners are investigating, which is Facebook. And well, we recommend you guys to go and change your password right away. Well, as you know, guys, there are always some copies. So if you want, you can go and search the contact of that famous person that you like on Instagram. Okay, guys, so if you have Windows 10, uh, this news is pretty important for you. Okay, so it seems they discovered new vulnerabilities on this Windows 10 OS. Well, unfortunately, it's the third consecutive day in which they revealed these vulnerabilities of this OS. So, guys, in case you have uh, important information on your computer and, of course, if you're using Windows 10, you should listen to this. So, in GitHub, they just published two new zero-day vulnerabilities, information about it, and how to explode them, how to use them. And well, totally, there are eight zero-day vulnerabilities that have been found in the last 10 months. That's a lot of uh, problems for the enterprise. So one of these dangerous uh, vulnerabilities allow escalation of local privileges to administrator privileges. And well, the other vulnerability helped to escape the sandbox to install malware on the machine. So the specialists just mentioned that these vulnerabilities are pretty dangerous and it's better for you guys to update your operating systems. So personally, I request the Windows developers to solve these problems because there are too many affected users already. And guys, if you want to, you can tell us what troubles you have had experience with your operating system. Okay, so now we got more news about Julian Assange. Well, the United States government is accusing him for violating the spy law. Well, the United States Department of Justice is filing new charges against the WikiLeaks founder for violating the spy law and also for publishing confidential information. So, this happened uh, weeks ago in April, Julian Assange was arrested in London and he was sentenced to 50 weeks in prison for breaking his probation in 2012. Now, the United States government seeks the extradition of this cyber activist. Well, uh, as you know, Assange is the suspect of publishing documents in Wikileaks related to United States military campaigns in Iraq and Afghanistan and also diplomatic documents of other governments. Well, in, if guilty, Assange will face a sentence of around 175 years in jail. Well, personally, I think this journalist was doing his job and, well, it's a pity that they are attacking him in this way. And, uh, well, it is the first time that the law of disclosure of information of the United States is using uh, this against a journalist. Well, Wikileaks actually considers this is a violation of rights as the founder is supposedly protected by the freedom of expression law. So what do you think, guys? Okay, now, guys, let's talk about some hackers attack Baltimore government system and website pages. Pretty hard news for Baltimore. Well, this was like a few weeks ago. They just reported a ransomware attack in the city of Baltimore, which hackers managed to compromise several city systems. 
And well, the police already uh, notified the FBI, which is conducting an ongoing investigation. And well, this ransomware is called Robin Hood and already affected email servers, traffic find, a tax payment systems and different servers around the city. So now you know guys, Baltimore is a total chaos. If you want to, you can go and drive at full speed without paying any fines. Trust me, I'm kidding guys. Well, the attackers demanded a ransom of 13 Bitcoin, which is almost $100,000 in exchange for restoring the systems. But the government of Baltimore declared that they will not pay the ransom. And well, also specialists in cybersecurity advise that it's better not to pay the ransom since there is no guarantee that hackers will restore the systems and also the hackers will stay without budget. So in Baltimore there is a total crisis, let's hope they can fix this, uh, hopefully they will resolve this soon. And well guys, if you want to, you can tell me what would you do if this happened in your own city? Hey guys, did you know that hackers can collect data through your smartphone sensors? Okay, that's true. Well, there is a new attack known as calibration fingerprinting that has been identified and well, this one uses your personal mobile sensors information to generate a unique fingerprint that can allow access to your personal information and espionage against yourself. Well, as you know, the fingerprint of a mobile works to protect users against identity fraud or payment theft. Well, with these new hacking skills, the sensor's data information are being used to create a unique fingerprint that could not have been modified, not even with a factory reset. So better watch out, guys. So this attack supposed can be launched from any website or application. Well, so we recommend you to use browsers that do not have access to the information of your device, specifically the sensors. And well, specialists reported that the new iPhone model and the new Google Pixel models are vulnerable to this hacking attack. And well, personally, if I had one of these expensive mobiles, I would not like it to happen to me. So as we do it again, guys, we recommend you to update your operating system. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the news of this chapter and again, my name is Miguel. If you got any comments or suggestions, I want you to please write them down guys. And well, if you want to get more information about cybersecurity, hacking attacks and a lot of information, you can also follow us on our social media networks. We are leaving the links down below. So see you in the next one.